Okay, the installation is pretty simple. You have to install Python first, get that up and running. Then you install the uh, Python GTK, the uh, graphic tools kit. Install GTK++, which is another um, graphics tools kit uh, compiler and, uh, and, um, and runner. And then you unzip Canvas into a folder and launch the canvas.bat file. That's the batch file that actually gets Canvas up and running. Uh, in Linux, it's a little bit different. It works on all recent versions of Linux with the P, uh, Python 2.2 uh, installed or, or greater. Especially uh, this, in particular, works in the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, so the inter interface is a true Python-based GUI, which is portable to many, many different platforms, including Windows and Linux. As you can see, both of those use the Python GTK in one form or another, uh, whether it's GNOME on the Linux world or um, in GTK in the Windows world. And this is what it looks like. Again, it looks very much like a uh, sort of core um, graphical user interface. You click on this and you click on that, and it's got some wizards as well. Double click on a, uh, on a um, uh, uh, attack or recon tool. So I pick the tool I want to use and I double click on it. I, it asks me what, uh, what do you want to scan? I just clicked on the scanner. So what do you want to scan? I put in a network or a host. And it comes back with all the information. It also tells me what, uh, what that particular host is vulnerable to. So now I know not only uh, what ports are open, but I know what uh, ports are vulnerable and to what exploits. Some more information that's letting me know more vulnerabilities. It's done with its scan. Okay, double click, click the host at the bottom to expand the, the current, uh, uh, situ the current uh, situation that it's described for us. There it is. Okay, now we've scanned the target. We've found out what it's vulner vulnerable to. We've, it's going to provide us with a list of exploits that will do the job and we're going to select one and let it loose. Here we go. Pick it. Pick the host. Pick the port. Fire it off. Now, uh, a listener shell will be um, placed into the uh, uh, remote machine's memory, into the environment, and it will report back to us for execution. We're going to type in some parameters for configuring the shell. As you can see down there, uh, there are some uh, documents and settings, the program files, WinNT. This, this is the what's coming back to us. Now, fuzzing for new vulnerabilities. That's one uh, ability that Canvas has, and that means it will look for new vulnerabilities that are, as of yet, undocumented. Once it's installed, it can then try and uh, maybe figure out a new uh, exploit that can be used on that target.